Hey guys, it's Tupai, and today I'm back here with another real, well, not actually not release, I was going to say release, but it's really a showcase slash explanation of a new mod by the man, the myth, the legend, Purples himself. Uh, this guy is, if you don't know him, mm, dude, <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Like, come on, you should, you should probably know this guy, but he, uh, he makes a lot of really cool mods, you guys should check them out if you don't already i don't i don't know how you would find me without knowing who purples is but you know what i'll shout him out anyways uh yeah this is the memory fix mod and i'm gonna be explaining a little bit about what this mod does and what it fixes because really what it's doing is just fixing an issue with optifine which is kind of annoying that you have to make a whole separate mod for that but you know what if you gotta do it you gotta do it so purples did in fact do it and uh basically i'm going to talk about what this is fixing now if you've ever played minecraft with optifine which you probably have right uh you'll know that after a long time after a lot of playing and warping between games and lobbies and that sort of thing you'll notice that your ram starts to fill up in minecraft uh, or also known as your memory call back to the mod name <laughs> we'll get to that uh so basically as you play more and more, your memory uh, fills up more and more. Now that should probably make sense, right? The more you're playing, the more you need to store, sort of. But it doesn't really store... It, sorry, it stores more than it needs to. And that's a problem with Optifine. Now, uh, you'll notice that after a long time of playing, it'll start capping at 100%, which I'm showing on the screen right now. Um, it'll start freezing up every few seconds, which is terrible. you got to restart your game immediately. And it's really annoying. Um, this mod basically fixes that. Now, to explain what's actually happening with Optifine, um, I'm going to go a little bit more technical on you, okay? Try not to go too crazy, all right? <clears throat> it's going to be okay. We'll get through it together. So basically, every time Optifine loads a player, it needs to check if there's an Optifine cape because, you know, Optifine's cape system, they got to get those sick capes for everybody. Um, and... Optifine is a set of code that I'll be showing on the screen right now that gets the Optifine capes from their server and sends it to the client to be displayed as a cape, right? Uh, the problem is not actually the capes, but it's how they're being put onto the players. There's this section of code which runs every time a player returns a cape from Optifine server. So if a player has a cape, this code is being run that tries to put the cape onto the player and identify what player needs the cape in the in the physical world but the problem is that it never actually deletes this player's data if you can call it that it's called an object in java it never deletes that object from the memory now uh going back to memory here that's what's been filling up that's what the mod is named for so basically over time the more optifine capes you encounter in the wild which is a lot of people nowadays uh, your memory will start filling up more and more. And the problem, the real problem with this, like, you think uh, a player is not going to be crazy amount of memory. It's it's not that much, right? But the issue is every time it stores that player, it's also storing the world that the player is. And it will actually duplicate or make multiple copies of the same world because that object is being saved multiple times, which is a lot of memory. Worlds are lots of memory. And it uh, really, you know quickly builds up if you're moving between lots of games and slowly if you're you know going a little bit slower <laughs> but it'll still build up over time the more optifine capes you encounter and uh you might be thinking why does an optifine fix this this seems like a serious issue they should just fix it and as it turns out this uh random guy who we might have mentioned before called uh purples made a bug report on the optifine issue tracker like in march like so long ago and uh, they actually fixed it but they only fixed it for 1.12 <laughs> oh man it's um it's unfortunate so they did fix it give them credit for that even though it has been in the game since like forever or in optifine at least but they fixed it um just in only 1.12 so this is the mod for 1.8.9 that purples is releasing to do the same thing that they fixed but they are just too lazy to fix apparently i mean they have to realize that people still use 1.8 right like 
a, a lot of people. But you know what? They don't want to fix it. Fine, whatever. It's their mod. So, <clears throat> annoying as it is, Purples has to come in here and uh, fix it for us. So, basically, you can demonstrate this mod working exceptionally well if you just swap between lobbies really fast. Or not super fast, but consistently. Now, you'll notice, um, as you can see on the screen right now, I'm swapping between Skywars lobbies really quickly and you can see my memory is slowly building up i'll probably speed it up a little bit but my memory is slowly building up till it gets to, it went from like 30 percent to 80 percent which is insane it's only i mean obviously you're not going to normally be swapping between lobbies so much but at the same time if you're playing a lot of ranked skywars games that go by really quickly or something like that you're still going to have the same effect just take a little bit longer so now you can see I'm probably at around 80% or something. Now if you put on Purples' memory fix mod, uh, you'll see that I'm going to start swapping between lobbies again. Same old thing, same, you know, consistency. But it's not going to build up your memory like crazy, which is a godsend, honestly. It's amazing. Um, you don't have to restart your game anymore. Well, you might. There, there might be other memory leaks that you have to restart your game for. But this main one... This is the number one memory leak in Minecraft causing those things, and it is fixed. So, Purples is legitimately a god for making this mod. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say, honestly. I just want to showcase this mod because so many people need to use this mod. This is going to change a lot of... Well, it's not going to change much, actually, but it's, it's an incredibly useful mod. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Go get the mod if you don't already know about it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this explanation. Hopefully it made sense. If you have any questions about the explanation or the mod or anything, you could probably uh, leave it in the comments, and I might respond to it. There's a chance. There's a possibility. So just be banking on that possibility, all right? Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys.